Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I just saw a fish swirl. Oh my god. Oh, I think he bit it. He did. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Well, Bob, that was fun while it lasted. What is going on folks? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Folks, we are on the way to 150,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to join the strongest fishing army on YouTube. But guys, today we're here in a different setting. We're not at a lake. We're actually here at the gas station because we are doing a gas station only fishing challenge, which means we have to catch fish on whatever we buy in this gas station. I was just here a few days ago buying a Bang Energy drink before my workout and saw fishing stuff in here. I didn't want to look at everything they had, so I really don't know exactly what's in here, but all I know is that they do have like some rods and reels and stuff. So without further ado, folks, let's go ahead, go inside the gas station, get our fishing gear for today, and see if we can't catch some big old bass. Let's go. Oh, it's now, guys. They got my favorite flavor right here. Let's freaking go. They got the pina colada bang. Definitely scooping some of these. So here's the fishing section that I was talking about here. So they have these fishing rods for $19.99. So uh, these little push button spinning combos, I don't know what color I should get. If I should go with the green, the orange, or the blue. I'm kind of liking uh, the blue color. So this is gonna be our fishing rod here, a little self bend, and we need some lures to go along with it. And they have this little selection right here of lures. I've never seen this in a gas station before. This is crazy. Oh, and it spins. This back here. Let's see. This stuff comes with line, so we don't need line, but they have it if we need it. Let's see. Okay, so we're fishing for bass today, but they got catfish food. I mean, I don't know. I think we're going to have to go with some of these power worms right here. I don't think they come with hooks or anything. Do they have hooks? We got bobbers. Um, let's see guys, I don't think they have any worm fishing hooks, we might have to use some of our own here, but they do have weights if I ever need to do that. Oh, and look, they have live bait as well. We might have to do that sometime, but I think what we're going to go with is these power bait worms for bass and also this little blue fishing rod right here. I think this will do as well. Those three. Woo! All right, guys, we are here at the pond. I love any day out here on the water, and it's looking super juicy today. I remembered on the drive here that I've actually been to a gas station before. It's like 45 minutes away that has a ton of fishing gear. Basically, a Bass Pro Shops inside of a gas station. They even have like the Lose Mock combo, which is my favorite rod and reel combo to fish with. I mean, the place is just crazy. If you guys want to see a video on that, if we can hit a thousand likes in 24 hours on this video, I'll make sure to make the drive out there and go film a video there. But before we rig up our new rod and reel, combo and go fishing here at the pond your boy norm's got a big announcement to make so we're gonna set this down right here so i can't believe i'm about to say this but you guys know i love bringing those high energy fishing vlogs to you guys and I, <laughs> and believe it or not you guys know how i love drinking those bang energy drinks you see them on my instagram and snapchat if you follow me there on other youtubers channels when i collaborate with them and also on my channel sometimes they're in the background something like that but basically we are in the talks on email right now bang energy and i and they want to see what norm's got so we're about to show them what norm's got because this is like my dream part partnership guys is bang energy i love the freaking company so we're about to give them my best shot and by best shot i mean best trick shot fishing trick shot i have my bait caster rod and reel combo here with a jig on it we got my three favorite flavors of bang energy our goal is 20 yards away three flips in a row knock over three bang energy cans set you guys up right here that's one baby two in a row let's go oh that's two let's go last one <laughs> That's the trick shot right there. I thought that was pretty good. Whoever's watched this over there at the Bang Energy headquarters, you guys need to sign your boy up. You're missing out if you don't get some Norm. But on a serious note, guys, I love knowing what's going into my body. That is so important for feeling good, being able to come out and experience the outdoors every single day instead of sitting inside doing absolutely nothing. That's why I love these Bang Energy drinks. And it's kind of scary reading the label of any of your favorite sodas, guys. I'm sorry to say it. A Coke, a Mountain Dew, a Starbucks drink. Don't even get me started. Even Gatorade, stuff that you think is supposed to be good for you isn't good. All I got to say, guys, is read your labels. Read a Bang Energy label compared to all the other stuff, and you guys are going to be blown away. But with all that said, guys, I think I gave it my best shot. So now we're going to go uh, fishing and go catch some of those uh, swimmy boys in the water. Let's go. So here's a closer look at the worm we're using today, guys. I mean, this is a big old 10-inch worm right here. We got eight count of these from our power baits, and then this is a rod and reel combo. So here's our rod and reel here. It is a two-piece. I'm going to read the stats off real quick. It's rated for 6 to 14-pound line. Uh, 3 16 ounce to a half ounce lure and uh, it's a 5 6 medium so I don't know guys this is gonna be very interesting especially if we hook ourselves into a 
big bass out here. This is gonna be freaking crazy, guys. The pond's looking great, but we got this big old worm here. Way to tell, oh my gosh, we gotta set the drag. Oh man, if we catch one bass on this thing, I'm gonna be impressed. Oh my gosh, this drag, no matter how tight you tighten it, doesn't even, okay, there we go. We might wanna do it a little bit looser than that. Let's see here. Okay, <laughs> that might be a little bit better. I don't know what pound test we got on here, guys, so I don't wanna set the drag too tight. That might be good. Oh. <laughs> if we catch one fish on this, I'm gonna be so impressed. We're about to do a cast test here. I haven't used a push button in forever. Oh, snap, okay. <laughs> that went far out there. No, oh, I'm just afraid if we get bit, if I'm gonna be able to catch it, I don't know. This is crazy. Have you guys ever caught a bass on a push button reel? I think I have in other challenge videos, but it's been so long, I can't even remember using one of these things. It just feels so weird compared to a bait caster and a spinning combo. I do like how far I can cast this. I mean, I can cast that thing halfway across the pond. That is crazy. I was not expecting it to cast that far. This reel is so squeaky. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna keep on walking the bank. There's a ton of grass here, which normally isn't here on the edge. So I'm trying to like just bring this worm kind of along the side of it. And maybe those bass are hanging out in there. I really haven't fished out here in a while. So I don't know what they're doing out here. Is that a fish? That might be a fish guys, I can't tell. Oh, do we have one? <laughs> oh, what was that? I need to tighten up the drag even more. Oh, it's so hard to detect a bite on just like such a short rod like this. We're gonna go ahead and hop on the wall here, folks. It's a miracle I haven't fallen off this thing yet, either into the water or off that side while I'm really gonna fish. Knock on wood. Hello? So I have good news, somebody found your wallet. You guys will not believe what that phone call was just about. So basically when I was in the gym, somebody stole my wallet and I had no clue where it went. And they checked the security cameras and they figured out who took it. They called them and they said they thought it was lost and they were gonna turn it in. So I guess they now have the wallet and uh, I can go pick it up tomorrow. I was stressing about my wallet being gone. Fortunately, lucky enough, I will be getting my wallet back, which is awesome because because I had a few uh, gift cards in there for fishing videos I wanted to do. So I'm glad to hear that we are going to be getting that back. All right, that was our last cast here. That's just how it is sometimes. If when you limit yourself to one lure, that lure might not work at a spot. So we're going to go try a second pond here and hopefully turn our luck around. All right, people, we're here at pond number two, and hopefully this will treat us better than pond number one. I'm going to walk down the steep slope first before we get there. But uh, I haven't fished here in months, so hopefully it'll be good. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, oh, my life flashed before my eyes there. <laughs> We're here. We're here. Oh, first cast, baby, at the new pond. There's got to be something in here that swims that wants a big old 10 inch worm in the middle of winter. I just need one fish for my self confidence right now, really. That's what I need. New approach. It's super shallow out here. We're taking off the bullet weight and we're just gonna fish with a weightless worm. We'll see how far we can cast this weightless worm. Oh, snap, I can actually cast that pretty far too. Like just as far as I could with the bullet weight on there, that surprised me. Maybe the weightless worm, cause it's a little bit shallower here in this pond. Give it a little bit more of a natural approach and maybe it'll catch us a fish, please. Oh, please. That was one. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Listen to that drag go. Oh, he nailed it. That's all we had to do was take the weight off, guys. Oh, come here. Yes. I can't believe I was, oh my gosh. A literal two hours later, guys, and we got our first fish right here. Weightless worm, it bit it down a little bit. Boom, that's a healthy one right there. That's crazy. I already consider that a success, guys, but before the sun goes down all the way, I want to try to catch some more. Never in my life have I been so excited to catch a fish that size. <laughs> that was freaking cool, man. Oh, and they, they fight so hard on a combo like this. That's the most fun thing about these is that when you do have a fish on, the fight is completely different than when you use your bait caster or your spinning combo. I don't know, that was a lot of fun. Oh, that's one, that's one right here. Oh, oh, <laughs> number two. Oh my gosh. Come on, stay on there. <laughs> you guys don't even know how much fun it is. There we go, there we go. I mean, these are only like one pound bass, a little bit smaller than one pounders, but but the way they fight on this combo, it's undescribable. Like that is just so much fun. I'm loving this now. Our luck has turned around. I guess right before the sun's dropping down, the evening bite is just freaking saucy. We gotta get ourselves back out there. 
What I'm doing is like a little twitch twitch right when it hits the water and I'll let it pause. I just kind of let it sit there. It sinks super, super slow. And then what I'll do is I'll bring it back up, kind of do a little twitch twitch like that. And I mean, just if you're looking to catch a ton of fish, a weightless worm, I mean, that's just the way to go. All the, any time of year, I mean, it's gonna catch them. Oh, that's him. Oh, fish number three, yes, stay on there. Oh my gosh, look at how he's running. Oh my gosh, come on, get in here. Oh. I mean, I had a feeling about this spot right here. Oh, <laughs> that's a bigger one too. Look at that perfect hook set. Bam. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun. I need to do this more often, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this little creek right here has so many minnows in it. Also, do you ever wonder just how stuff ends up in random places? Like, <laughs> like who put a pool float out here? Should I go fishing in it? Let me know, guys. And what is that, actually? What is this? Guys, I just found a jewel pot i think that's what that is just don't do something because other people are doing it like do your own research first at least at the bare minimum and that was a fish right there oh my gosh oh my gosh he ate it right there you guys see that oh it came up. oh i watched that happen oh my gosh on the other hand maybe jewels are good law I'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding oh, oh i just saw a fish swirl Oh my god. Oh, I think he bit it. He did. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Get over here, dude. I cannot believe, guys, sun's going down, but I can't believe we caught four fish on this thing. I was thinking if we caught one, that would be freaking awesome. Two would be unreal, but we've caught four fish on this combo right here. I'm I'm loving it. I'm <laughs> I'm just having a great time. Oh no. Guys, it freaking broke. Look, I'm reeling and my worm is coming up. Oh, shoot. How did that happen? No. Yeah, guys, this son of a gun is jammed. Shoot. Well, Bob, that was fun while it lasted. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I had so much fun. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it to be that much fun, but it is a lot of fun reeling them in on uh, this rod and reel, and unfortunately, it's broken, but I'm sure I can go home, do some surgery on her, and she will be back up in working condition. But yeah, folks, remember, a 1,000 likes, I'll go to that other gas station, and they have, like, bait casters, spinning combos, and just a huge tackle selection. I'd love to do a video there. If you guys made it to the end of the video, comment duck. I don't know. <laughs> I want to see how many people made it to the end but yeah make sure you guys subscribe if you made it this far and hit the bell so you don't miss my next video and until the next fishing adventure fish bump i'm out of here